My question is to the Minister for Agriculture and Water Resources. Will the minister update the House on how the coalition and government has backed farmers, agriculture and rural and regional Australia more broadly over the course of 2015? How has this support delivered on the coalition's commitment to restore agriculture as a fundamental pillar of the Australian economy? The member for Hunter will cease interjecting. The Minister for Agriculture has the call. The member for Melbourne Ports. Well, well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. And I thank the honourable member for his question. From a family that's had a strong involvement and a continued involvement in politics, his brother, one of the local mayors, uh, his, his wife, Robin, a, an absolute uh, tower of strength and support of the local member, and his son, a rather a, a capable advisor too, I might ask. Um, but he asked them the question of what we have done in agriculture, and I'm proud to report to the member for Parks the wonderful work that this coalition government has done in agriculture, whether it's the $4 billion agricultural competitiveness white paper that was launched in July, a pathway not only for this government but for governments in the future, one that took into account over a thousand submissions and made sure that we were dealing with issues, one that has already delivered on such things as a 100 per cent write-off on fencing, a 100 per cent write-off on water reticulation, a write-off over three years for fodder storage. These are all terribly important. We have also managed to get water back into agriculture, and with water resources and agriculture tied together, we now have the capacity for that unity of purpose as we drive forward for better delivery in such things as dams. And to that purpose, we have got half a billion dollars in the, ki in the kitty to start that process of building new dams, because we are a nation that believes in dams. We are a nation that believes our best days are ahead of us. We are the sort of people who are excited about water infrastructure, and we believe that we have the competence to do it. We can also report that, we, of course, we've delivered on the three free trade agreements, and I acknowledge the wonderful work done by the Minister for Trade. But it's not only just that; it's also the live animal destinations, opening up markets to Egypt, to Bahrain, to Lebanon, to Iran. The protocols to Iran after four decades, to Cambodia, to Thailand, and to China, for which we are already moving moving product into China as we speak. And it's not only just that; it might also be the $379 million that we've spent on a post-quarantine, on a post-entry quarantine facility in Melbourne. And it's also very important to clearly understand that this is a government that has seen the greatest turnaround in soft commodity prices in the history of our nation. We now have record cattle prices. We've had record meat sheep prices. We've had a turnaround in the broader wool market. We're also now getting, I think, they've got cotton at $517 a bale for next year. And we're a nation because of our research and development, which has the highest yielding cottons in the world. And here comes a man who never has much to say. The member, Minister for Agriculture resume his point, and uh, the uh, member for Hunter will state the point of order. A point of order. Reps practice is written. No, no. Large. Point, state Reps the point. Of, on, state I'm the entitled point of, you to make state, reference to Reps the practice, for, Mr. Mem, Speaker. The member for Hunter will state his point of order. Or well, I'll, do it, I'll take it on relevance. Seat. I think that's appropriate. On relevance, no. there's no point of order. The minister has the call. Yes. I can. I refer you to page 189 of practice. You should have a good read of it. The minister has the call. You don't have the call. The minister has Go the call. Go away. The member for Go Hunter away. will resume his seat. Go away. The minister uh, will resume back. his seat. The member for Hunter will resume his seat. No, the member for Hunter will resume his seat, and I'll address his point. I've made clear many times in the House that I can rule on a point of order uh, at any point once it's been stated. If you look at Rep's practice, there are many precedents where previous speakers, including previous uh, Speaker Jenkins, did not even allow a point of order and ruled that way immediately. It's page 189. I suggest you have a read of it. There's no point of order. The minister has the call. Well, thank you very much, Member Mr. Hunter Speaker. Warned. Now, and also, this gives us that I know that in the west of the members' electorate, they've been doing it tough with drought, and that's why we have made. More than 5,500 people have got access to claims for five farm household allowance to deliver real cash benefits back to them, and over 400 million has been lent out in concessional loans. Mr. Speaker, this is a government that has taken agriculture back to the centre. We are a government with vision, and we are delivering. <laughs>